new channel. Now, why is this channel new? You might want to ask. Is because we're going to be doing an unboxing about all Caribbean stuff. <laughs> so, if you see, we're gonna, we have a delivery of two huge boxes. And the new channel is going to be all about Caribbean stuff. So, it's going to be all about Caribbean stuff. We're going to bring to you Caribbean restaurants. We're going to bring to you events. Whatever that's happening in around us that's driving distances and it's Caribbean related or island related, we're going to put that on this channel. Uh, we're going to go test new restaurants out. There's a lot of um, Guyanese restaurants opening. There's Trini restaurants, Jamaican. Um, no Haitian restaurant yet, but I'm going to bring someone that can cook the best Haitian food you ever tasted and we're gonna have like people come over and cook with us um, so it's gonna be a fun Caribbean channel mostly island things we'll drive to road trips and all of that good stuff so stick around make sure what do they need to do what do they need to do to stay updated maybe I'll post the like bell that's what everybody says on their channels if they want to stay early on the videos they got more make sure and uh, make sure if you want to keep early on our videos, you got to press the like button below. You got to like it, you got to subscribe, you got to share it, <laughs> and <laughs> what else you got to do? Give it a thumbs up! Yep. So oh. we're going to get into yeah, the unboxing in a little bit. In the meanwhile, oh. we need something to drink. Because oh. you know you can't start anything Caribbean without something to drink. So stick around, let me get something to drink. I got my spinnies. So my chosen drink is Lagonitas IPA India Pale Ale, highly balanced, super drinkable, 6.2% percent mix, alcohol. Mix, 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 and then Zaya, what are you having? Uh, Her chosen it. drink. I'm mixing it all with my finger. It's cold chocolate. Cool chocolate, yeah. So, it's a nice cheers, you guys, to the new like, channel. Cheers. This one, cheers. Cheers. Cool. <laughs> so, like I was, hang on, let me taste this beer first. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Zaya's gonna go and play her game while we unbox, and then um, when there's something interesting that she might want to check. Um, we're gonna call her back to do like the taste tester um, of the stuff that's in the uh, those two big boxes. So I found a company, um, you, you know, Caribbean people, even though you move to a different state, have no fear, you're gonna find your supply because this these people, they ship Caribbean stuff. Uh, it could be like veggies, fruits, essence, um, whatever you usually use, they'll have it and you can order it and they'll ship it to Texas. So if you're a Caribbean person and you're in Texas, they'll ship the stuff to Texas. Um, if you're in Michigan, okay, so the Caribbean daughters, this is really for the Caribbean daughters, that left Queens of Florida where these things are more accessible, have no fear. This supplier is actually shipping uh, stuff to different places in the US. And sometimes it's even free shipping. So I guess it's depending on how many things you order. Um, I'll give you guys all the description, all of that stuff later on. But for Caribbean people like myself, I'm, I'm, uh, I left New York, all this stuff used to be accessible. So I left New York, came to Texas, you can find some of the stuff here and there, but not really all of it. So when I found this site that ships the stuff to Texas, I had to order. I had to, and you guys can see I kind of went a little crazy. It's two huge boxes, but I'm going to open them and we're going to uh, see what's in there. We're going to see how they packaged it and stuff like that. And then what are we going to do? We're going to use all that stuff and make recipes and fun things. So stick around if you want to see what's in the boxes. And then in the meanwhile, cheers and thank you for tuning in. Okay, you guys, I've been waiting for this box. So the shipping, it, the box was sent out on Monday. 
it is now Thursday, so it's pretty quick. It's not that bad. Okay, let's hope it this thing into the box. but that was a fail. Everything fell in the box. But I guess this is what they use to store the stuff. It says dry warning. Please follow heating instructions. Let me bring the camera so you guys can see inside the box. Okay, you guys, so while I'm getting the stuff out of the box, I'll kind of give you like a little backstory. So I'm from French Guiana. Uh, Jonathan is from the Dominican Republic. Why we're opening a Caribbean channel, because we're both from different places of the Caribbean. And the community in Texas, the Caribbean community in Texas is growing. And there's a lot of new restaurants opening. There's just about like two months ago, there's a Guyanese restaurant that opened. Uh, there's Trini places, there's Jamaican places. So, so many um, people are moving to Texas and they're bringing the culture, um, which is maybe gonna be good because then we'll be able to get our stuff more accessible. But um, in the meanwhile, we have a supplier. So they didn't give me a flyer or anything. It's probably in the second box. Um, but once I get to, to that flyer, I'll read to you the stuff from there. So the supplier that I get, uh, that I ordered the stuff from is called All From One Supplier. Um, I'm going to put all of their information if you guys want to use them and order uh, after you see all the stuff that I ordered. But um, the, the community, like I told you guys, is growing. So it's good for us that left Queens, left Florida, and we still cook like Caribbean stuff. We still need our dal, our roti, our um, goat and duck and all that stuff. So um, first item, chow mein. We don't find this in Texas unless you... So this one is the guy and he's tried chow mein. So I got, I believe I got like four packs of these things. Yes, there's another one. Another guy needs fried chow mein. And um, John, so I kind of cook a little bit of everything. I'll make Dominican food, I'll make Chinese food, I'll make American food, um, whatever we're in the mood for. And usually when we go to restaurants, we try to remake the stuff at home um, so that we don't really have to keep on going outside and buying. We like to recreate the stuff home. And you don't get a lot of the, the stuff that we like, so we just make it home. But I got chow mein. This is... So they did all the glass items, they bubble wrapped it pretty good. So let me see what this is. So this is Chinese chow mein sauce. I hope you guys can see this stuff and I'm not in the way. Chinese chow mein sauce. And what is oh essence? So I ordered essence. I wish they had the bigger bottles um, on the website, but this is have to do. So usually, what I would do uh, to get these things every year, I would go to Queens just to go and stack up on everything. So I got mixed essence. I got vanilla essence. I wish it had almond. Uh, but I didn't see any on the website. So yeah, I would go to Queens and buy everything that I need to buy and bring it back um, to Texas. But sometimes you don't have time to do all that. So they put all the spices that I ordered in a little Ziploc bag. So I ordered roasted jeera. 
Oh, this is a little pack. I thought it was a big pack. Uh, duck and goat curry powder. Garam masala. Um, char masala. And uh, sometimes when my mom comes from back home, from Frenchiana, she will bring me stuff from back home too. Um, because their stuff is different. So we usually get like a lot of the spices in Suriname. Because uh, that's usually where we go and do all the Caribbean shopping when you're living in Frenchiana. So she would uh, pick up all the stuff before she flies to America and she'll bring it for me. Uh, this is curry powder, chief brand. Some turmeric. And Chinese five um, five spice powder. When we make um, Guyanese fried chicken, you need that. It's a must. Five spice powder again. And then these are all the brands, uh, the chief brand. So you got chicken seasoning, chow mein seasoning, like all the little chief brands of stuff. The cook up seasoning. So, Guyanese, we call fila or um, jambalaya. We have our own version. Guyanese people call it cook up. So, I guess they have a cheap seasoning with cook up seasoning. So, I loaded up on that. country in French Guiana the there are Guyanese people who left Guyana and they moved to French Guiana but the culture never died it doesn't matter where Guyanese or where Caribbean people in general move to they will take their culture with them um, Caribbean people are very proud of their food um, so the main thing they don't want to lose is their culture their food they want to share it because it tastes so good. They want to share it with everyone. So you will never find a Caribbean person complaining about cooking because they want to make sure you taste it. They want you to enjoy it. They want you to see what the flavor is and that we love so much. But this is um, bandania or ricao. So you find this in Texas, but it's very sometimes. So I ordered like a bunch of it, and this is what what I put in my green seasoning. I put this, I put cilantro. Um, green seasoning is an essential part for Caribbean cooking. So you have, there's no way you can not have green seasoning. So it's all right. It's kind of bruised. It's been four days since it's been in the, it's been traveling. So there you go. You guys have a better look. It smells really good. So usually I'll find this. So we have a grocery called Fiesta. Uh, there's another one called Cos Plus. And they usually would have this, but the last few times that I've been going there, they don't have it. So I said, you know what, let me stock up because I'm totally out of green seasoning. I also ordered Bora, but this Bora went through hell. <coughs> this Bora is kind of old. <coughs> So that's the Bora. So I order Bora. This is like something we put in our, it's a veggie. And we like to put it in fried rice or chow mein. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash it up, cut it up, put it in a Ziploc so I'll have enough to use for the next times. And, oh wow, these squash are little. So these are squash. I just ordered it because I wanted to see how their squash comes. But I ordered three squash. You make this with some like stew squash with some chicken, a quick meal. And they have the little dry ice, like the dry thing, but it's like all, it's opened up. So the pot's probably on the way here. You guys don't even know how excited this is to get this stuff in Texas. Um, especially if you cook a lot. 
and you you like to share your food and you like to always test stuff out so with all the stuff that i have some of the recipes i never made like i you know what i want to try it's not Guyanese, it's trini but it's doubles i want to try and make doubles i also got hasa so the hasa definitely needs to get frozen again so i don't know if you guys know about this but this is armored catfish and Guyanese people love this. Jonathan already told me he's not eating it because it's from Florida. The only hasa he eats is my mom's hasa all the way in French Guyana. So he's gonna wait a long time for hasa. He doesn't want Florida uh, uh, hasa. But they're not bad. I'm gonna have to wash them and then freeze them up. So the seal is broken. But it's fine, it's still frozen. You can see the ice in there. I would take one out, but then my hands are gonna get all dirty. This, I definitely have to wash it right away and then freeze it up. So now mostly all Guyanese, they love duck. And we don't get duck here. We we'll, You probably find the duck in Costco and stuff like that, but um, guess what I ordered? Duck, they had duck. So this is the duck, and it's supposed to be a 9 to 10 pound duck. 8.51 pounds of duck, duck meat. It's raw duck meat. So this also has to get washed, seasoned, and in the freezer. But this is a bag of duck. It's already melting. So you yeah, have to clean it up and get everything seasoned up and in the fridge. Okay, you guys, time for the second box. Um, I think I'm more excited for the second box than the first box. Um, but now that we have the meats and the veggies and the seasoning and stuff like that, let's see what's in the next one. But this is so exciting when you could get your Caribbean stuff to cook and do all your favorite stuff, it's so fun. Um, and then I ordered like desserts and stuff, so fingers crossed it tastes good and it's still fresh-ish because it's four days. But let's see, let's see what the second box has in there. I know Jonathan is excited because I'm gonna be cooking all this stuff for him. Um, but yeah, let's get into the second box. Let me take a sip first, hold on. You guys know, Guyanese women like their beer. They like their Banks beer, Suriname, you get Parbo. Everywhere that we travel to, I usually try to get a beer from that country. I love beer. Hence the, the weight gain. Rice, roti, dal, chow mein. How do you expect to lose weight when you're Caribbean? I don't, comment below if you are from the Caribbean, you try to not be overweight, but you still love all this food. So how do you guys do it? How do you lose the weight? How do you say somewhat not fattish? <laughs> That's my dilemma every day. I love our Caribbean food. It's the best food in the world. If you haven't had Caribbean food, you don't know what you're missing. Okay, this one has the pamphlets, so we can see who sent us all this stuff. So, like I was telling you guys earlier, this, the shipper, the people who uh, send this, is called All From One Supplier. Uh, if you go on the website, it's just allfromonesupplier.com. It says Trinidad, uh, Trinidadian and Guyanese authentic West Indian food and groceries, free US shipping. So I wonder if that includes Hawaii, because my brother would love to order stuff. And they give us a nice little book with all the stuff they have. Oh, that is pretty nice. You know, I wanted to order, what do you call it? I wanted to order gilbaca fish, but I didn't see it on the website. And also, uh, pepper, 
it's hard to find weary weary pepper in Texas and I want to make my own pepper sauce so I might have to call them and ask them if they, they have um, weary weary pepper they, the fish and meat it says bangamary, kingfish, white belly shrimp hasa, goat, duck catering is available but this is the little flyer that they put in the box And Zaya wants to help. I guess she sensed that the good stuff is coming. And then they also put, okay, so it, it looks like they have a travel agency it's also. Grab a chair so you can come and taste them. So they have like a, it's called Travel Spam, New York, Georgetown, Barbies, Chaguanas, and Val Park. So they have like tours and. Oh, the duck curry competition is in St. Martin this year. When is this? July 28th. Oh, so it's this weekend. Oh, man. If I was on a cruise, this would have been the perfect excursion to land in St. Martin uh, for the duck curry competition. But the duck curry camp, oh, look at me. This girl, the, this Chinese singer, this girl, she's super uh, popular right now. And she's gonna be at the uh, duck curry competition. But yeah, they have tours also. So it looks like they have a travel agency or maybe they're sponsored or something by a travel agency. And yeah, but I'll try to put like the all from one supplier website in the description so you guys can just go on the, the actual website. So now I ordered more fun things, all fun things. Caribbean stuff is always fun things. Let's get this over here. I'll bring the camera so you guys can see inside of this box. She smelled the good stuff coming soon. Yeah, I but, do smell something. So I ordered tennis roll. Ooh. And what we're gonna do. Because I never tasted tennis roll, so I got tennis roll. <laughs> and this is from Chef Ram's Bakery. The house looks like <laughs> This is from Chef Ram's Bakery. So tennis roll. It smells so good. I can't wait yeah. to have this. Can I smell? Oh yeah, it smells like bread. Um, but Zion never really had Guyanese stuff, like Guyanese oh, snacks yeah. and stuff. Oh, oh. Okay, you guys, tennis roll. I opened this box and you can smell all the bakery items. So I got a lot of bakery stuff. I know my brother would kill to come in this box right now. Um, because it's all our fun stuff that we grew up eating. But... Hang on, let me show you what else I got in there. Let me take a sip really quick. This is so nice to get these things here. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to make these things from scratch. Because nobody has money to order from these companies over and over and over. So I'm gonna try to recreate all these things on this channel. I'm gonna try to make uh, plat bread, tennis roll, Duck. I never made duck curry in my life yet because you don't find ducks. I never get to. I do goat, uh, chicken, beef, but not duck. So this is gonna be the first time making duck, and I will make it on this channel. So you guys gotta subscribe to see the action. Guys, look at this. What I have in this box. This we gotta try it right away. I've been dying to taste this, and um. Let me open it so I can show you guys. We got some. Oh my God, it's so hot! But I don't know if it's from the Texas heat or it's from the, it's probably not from the bakery. But we got salara. I ordered salara, pine tart. That's great. Oh my God, it smells like I'm in Guyana right now. <laughs> don't smush it, Zaya. Smell it like that. Um, and yeah. 
this coconut pastry. Oh my gosh, I need to open one of this right now. I haven't had pine tar or salara in forever. I got my hands to smell of the thing. Wow. My brother would love to have all this stuff right now. Let's take one little bite of some. Mmm. Uh, mmm. Mmm. This pineapple pastry. Wow. Mmm. Yum, yum. You like it? This is pine tart. Because they put pine in it, pineapple. Do you want some more? No, I don't need. She doesn't like it. Like, I do like it. Just this picnic don't, don't know Guyanese food. All she wants is roti and dal. That's it, dal and roti. Do you want another bite? No, me Mmm. I need a bite. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go crazy tonight with all these things. Call me greedy, but this might be done tonight. All these pastries that I ordered, I might eat them tonight. You know what it is? My belly ain't got no bottom. Mmm. Wow, it's good. It's good pastry. Chef Ram's Bakery. It's probably a bakery in Queens. So everybody's used to Sibyls. Everybody usually goes to Sibyls, but Chef Ram is not bad. This stuff is actually pretty good. It's very small though, like a mini version of the pine tart and the salara. Because you know, I salara. That, Mom. Yeah, you are. Salara usually is bigger, hey, but is let's it? see how this salara is gonna work. So let me take it out. Let me show you guys. So salara is a Guyanese coconut bread. You could call it a sweet coconut bread. And they stuff it and they roll it with coconut and they put coloring on it. Let's see what Zaya thinks. Let me cut a little piece for you. I'm Here. Do a pop -up. Pop -up. <laughs> How was it? Mm. I have to roll here. Mm-hmm. That's good. You don't like it? Yeah, I don't. Oh, more for me. So you this, I don't know, like most, most Guyanese who left Queens or Florida, whatever, everybody usually knows Sibyls. And you know, it's always a line in Sibyls. Because everybody wants that hot salara, hot tennis roll, hot plat bread, and you go and make the line to get the stuff right out of the oven. Oh my god, it's so good. Actually, I do like it. I do like it. You know, I taste testing, so I just need one She's bite. She's taste now. testing. Remember, you. So we got salara. We got pine tart. Which means so that. Put it here. Really, I do taste testing, so I just can't have one bite. Not a goodie. Not a goodie. You guys, I made a mess. Don't mind me. So it looks like they put like the dessert and the sweets and stuff in these little containers and then in a little ziplock bag. <laughs> so this is currants roll. So this is more of a treaty snack. So let me bring it close to you guys so you can see. So this is a roll just like the coconut one but this one they made it with currants. Hi. Let me show you guys. This is so good too. Let's see. Can I taste this? She's gonna taste the chocolate nut looking thing. So yummy. Oh no, there's no raisin. I don't like mm. raisin very much. I don't like raisin very much. Why not raisin? Mm -hmm. I'm like it or not. Raisin. I don't want to. I don't want to taste this one. Anyways, you already tasted it. It's a little dry going down my throat, but it's good. It's not that bad. Here, here. You gotta get the dough. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
Mm. Once you get the currants, it's good. That's sweet. So I got a bunch of currants roll. Mm. Yeah. You see, this is sweet, right? I like it. Thumbs up, viewers. Thumbs up for the currants roll. Yeah. Thumbs up for the currants roll. Another box. Favorite. Yeah. I feel, ooh, feels so hard. This is, I know, maybe Zara might like this one. Fat korma. So it's, korma. it's mitai, but a bigger version of mitai. Let me show Let me you. Let me see. Let me see first. Let me see. This is super yummy. Ooh. If the person who made it made it good, it's gonna be really good. So I wanted to try different brands. I got a champion chow mein. Chow mein. And I got chow mein Chinese fried chow mein. So we got two different ones to Chinese. test out. Um, yeah. I don't know. I said it. It doesn't really smell like anything. It doesn't really smell like anything. Then this, I never bought this yet. I never saw this yet. So they had these curry powder with coconut in it. So it's coconut curry powder. This is gonna be hard to pour out if I don't get the. This with some on fish me. will probably be really good. And then I some know. fish curry powder. I'm not hiding it. Oh. Okay, you guys, we're getting to the finish line. It's getting a little sad. So, in addition to all the like seasoning stuff, the veggies and all that stuff, they also the pastries. They also have cooked foods. And with the cooked food that I ordered, it came with some red cola champagne solo. Caribbean people know this bottle. It's just red solo, so it came with different kinds of solo. They have the banana solo, cream soda solo. This used to be one of my favorites, the cream soda one. But these days, um, when you buy the cream soda um, solo, it's flat. It's more like sugar water. So I don't know what's happening with them. Okay, you guys, we are on the last box. And this should be the cook food. So let's see how well this is packaged. And fingers crossed it tastes good. You know what, I should put this in the freezer to get cool. So they have a little no dry ice warning. They did include a caramel. It's like a Trini snack, I think. I never really ate it. I bet Zaya will probably like this. Oh, you get a pack of caramel. Used before July 31st, 2023. So we got just a few days to use it. And let's see. So they give you like pre um, pre organ like pre-packaged meal. Oh, they put a Cadbury. That's for your late night chocolate cravings. Let me show you guys inside so you guys have an idea before I even take anything out. Okay you guys, this is the last uh, bits of stuff that I ordered. It was cooked food. So I got uh, the duck 
package. They have like a curry duck package or a duck curry package. However, you are Trini say duck. Um, Trini say curry duck. Guyanese say duck curry. However, you want to say it. It doesn't matter, honestly, as long as it tastes good. And so I got in that little combination package that they have is two bus up shop roti. They put it in a little like sealed bag. So you guys see how it is. Two dal puri comes in that package. So you guys have an idea. And dal puri is roti with split peas in it. And then two curry potato there. So it's still cold. It's still, some of the stuff I know this was still frozen. So it kind of held up good in the box. So you have two curry potato. I have no idea which restaurant cooked it for for the the supplier, um, but I'll look it up. I'm sure I can find that info on the website. Two curry potato, and then a curry goat. There you go. Let me open it so you guys. So it's still pretty frozen. It's still pretty cold. It smells fresh so that's how it looks so you guys know what I'm gonna do after this right I'm about to attack all this stuff and then duck curry so it looks like they gave me two duck one chicken and one goat let me try to open this it says heat in microwave three to four minutes okay it says provided by curry roti box so that it's probably a restaurant in Queens that makes this okay you guys so this is what once I open up all the containers so this is the duck it's still frozen so it kept up pretty well then we have the goat goat kept up okay also everything's frozen and then the chicken and the potato and then you have your dal puri and your bus up shot which one am I gonna go for I'm going with a duck I'm gonna have duck today with dal puri oh my goodness so I honestly don't know when they cook this food and it's coming it's, it just says best before 30 December 2020 that's a long time that wouldn't last in a guy in his household so I don't know how they um they have that December 30 2023 I don't know how, if, how that's even possible I guess if you put it in your freezer and you just forget about it but we're gonna microwave it for three to five minutes three to four minutes and then eat okay you guys so I heated up the food this is Zaya I just gave her some um Then let's taste the ten. So I gave her some bus up shot and some Dude, chicken. Give me a fork. Actually, never mind. I can get mm -hmm. a fork myself. I just put some butter. Mm. In the tennis roll. It's so good. Four. Four. There it is. Four. Look, I got my fork. You got roti. My Cream soda. Can you have the? Yeah, taste the bread. Want a sip of that? Taste the bread and butter. So yummy. Mmm. Can I? Yay! Bread and butter. Mmm. Take a sip and chew it together. Mmm. So good. Good, right? Mmm. You don't like it? I do love the freezing bun if I just swap it. Mm. Mm -hmm. You want me right? Yeah. I'll put it here because I don't want to fill your stomach with that. Yeah. Taste your roti and your chicken and let me know.
Test your roti and chicken and let me know how it is. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the potatoes. And then here's the duck. Sit down before you fall. Wow, that's good. Now that's some good duck. That is some good duck. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good. Okay, Stefan, it's so good. Definitely recommend them. Really, really good duck. The potato is good, the brie is, it feels like somebody just cooked this. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is the dark brie, right? With potato and some duck sauce. Potato? Mm. Wow, that's so good! Yes, potatoes! Potatoes are The duck is really, really mouth. good. My goodness, that's good. You know, potatoes are the most popular food in Minecraft. Really good. Thumbs up. Whew. I'm full. Zaya ate. Well, she's still eating right now. I'm full as it could get. I ate a dal puri. I ate some uh, duck, the potato. Now I'm gonna have some dessert. But in all, the food was really good. I am surprised that it was really good. Uh, so when Jonathan come, he's gonna taste his. He's probably gonna pick the goat. But everything was good. Um, fruits and vegetables look fine. It just got a little banged up during the, the whole journey to Texas. But just to know that we could get this stuff in the mail and uh, in a few days. So they shipped on Monday. It got here on Thursday. It's convenient. You know, everything is convenient these days. But this is it for the first video for our channel. Uh, if you're gonna want to see more stuff like this, we're gonna probably go either to Oklahoma um, next weekend, uh, or there's a next place called Wichita, Texas. Um, it looks like they have a Caribbean spot over there, and we want to go see how it is. So if you want to come with us to Oklahoma or wherever, Dallas, Fort Worth, Richardson, Carrollton, Arlington, um, wherever the West Indian spots are coming up. We're gonna try to take you there. Uh, so be sure to subscribe. This is our new channel. We're gonna be making videos, uh, cooking with all the stuff that I bought. I have to make a, green, a new batch of green seasoning. Um, we're gonna be bringing people to cook, like my friends and stuff, like family. They're gonna come make recipes and stuff like that. So if you wanna keep up with all things Caribbean, um, be sure to subscribe, like the video, thumbs up it, share it, get the word out um, that you can get Caribbean stuff shipped to you uh, and the supply was all from one supplier and then I'll put everything in the description box but if you enjoyed um, everything you saw if you found something helpful subscribe and help the channel grow uh, and then we'll bring you more fun stuff but thank you for watching see you guys in the next one